Hello, in this video we've got a software tour of the Motorola Razr, or Droid Razr as it's known in the US. So we've got another video, uh, the link is in the description below to an actual hardware tour that runs through the specifications of this device. But let's take a quick look at the software. So first of all, got this switched on here, we've got the um, lock screen. Now I haven't got a SIM card in Certis, so that's why it's coming up with the emergency call. We've got some key features here. We can silence the phone or put the sound back on. We can unlock it as you'd expect. But If I also go back, one cool feature is we've got access straight to the camera. So that's booted straight into the camera. A little bit like HTC Sense on uh, HTC devices, this is booted straight into the camera there. So you it's fast to access, you often miss opportunities with the camera, so the idea is you literally press the power button, slide that off, and you're straight into the camera application. That's loaded in about a second, which really is quite impressive, so you shouldn't really miss any actions. So here we have the home screens. You've got five home screens which you can scroll through. Like any other Android device, you can configure uh, the layout and what have you, so with customizable widgets both in the Android operating system as standard or from Motorola, the add-on ones that they have put here. So you'll be able to see that you can scroll through your home screens and at the bottom we've got a little indication bar that shows you which screen you're on. Now the 1.2 GHz dual core processor and dual channel memory on here uh, make this fantastically fast. There's been no lag in the uh, time that I've been using this so far. just want to show you some cool features of the software so far. Um, I haven't really had much time to play with it uh, and get it tweaked up perfectly but just one here I've got some quick uh, shortcuts to people I like to call regularly. But what I can do is I've got four people there all I need to do is scroll down and it then brings up more so within a flick of the screen I've then got more contacts that I contact regularly. So I just pull down on that and up pops the more regular contacts and then I can customise this and what have you and I can flick it back to get rid of it. So everything seems fairly fluid. Uh, quite cool, we've got customisable widgets but so we can move them around what have you but we can also resize them. So I place it want to do and we've got these little placeholders come up now and what I can do is decide no I only want it to be that size and there I've um, reconfigured it. I might want to change this one. So I'm going to put that there and then I want to resize it. So I pull it up and now that has changed size as well. So that's pretty cool. We've got the apps menu, which we can go through here. It's all very fluid. As you can see, we're not scrolling up and down like we were. We're now scrolling across. We can configure it here by setting all apps, recent apps or downloaded or we can even create a group so if you've got social network uh, things etc for quicker access we can create a group and um, name it appropriately and uh, essentially make it easier to find key applications that we want so we come out of that. Um, before we go into the software in more depth I'm just going to show you the settings because some of you will want to see this so just to confirm that this is a Motorola Razr XT910 running Android 2.3.5 important to note here that it will be upgradable to ice cream sandwich um, but that's likely to be in early 2012 um, but not too long to wait because it's a pretty good device anyhow in terms of the software and the way it performs so let's take a look at the memory available on the device so you've got approximately 3.6 gig of application storage. You then have 8 gig internal storage approximately to do what you like with. And then you also have another 8 gig internal storage for media, but of course you can use the internal storage. So that will give you 16 gig uh, in total plus the 3.59 gig available there for applications. So plenty of memory on board this device, plus you've got the micro SD card slot which supports cards up to 32 gigabytes in capacity. So 
plenty of storage there for whatever you choose to use this device for. Let's just have a look at the languages because this is quite a common question. So these are the languages that you get on the device. And then these are the keyboard languages that are available to you. So anything from Brazilian to English to Greek to Norwegian to Finnish. Now on here we've got swipe and then the standard keyboard. So just show you that in here. So go into text message. So here's the swipe keyboard so we can do that or we've then got we can change the input method we could go back to the conventional Motorola keyboard it looks quite similar uh, but you don't have the swipe input method so that's that we've got the phone dialer nice and large you're not going to struggle entering any numbers with that of course, being Google, it syncs back with all your Gmail accounts and what have you, so you've got emails and, and things. Let's have a quick look at the camera. So it's an 8 megapixel camera, um, records in 1080p for video. We've got quite a lot of different setting options here in terms of the resolution, geotagging. We've got effects, as you can see here, so normal black and white, what have you. We've then got modes for the camera, exposure control and what have you. We can switch to video and we can see then in the settings what resolution. So we've got it set here at 1080p, which is great. Okay, so then let's go back and we'll show you the web browser. So 4.3 inch Super AMOLED advanced display. So you can see how crisp and vivid the image actually is. So we can pinch and zoom as you'd expect. We can double tap into the pages. We can rotate and then we can pinch and zoom some more. Of course you can browse over 3G or Wi-Fi. I'm on here fairly poor Wi-Fi connection here. Now you will see also with this 4.3 inch display because uh, it's in QHD resolution you get a lot more on the screen at the same time and this is beneficial when you use the HDMI out uh, facility to connect it to a larger HD screen. Okay so that's that. We've also got things like Google Maps as you've come to expect but of course bear in mind this is a large screen it's quite crisp and it's very fluid as well. So that's just showing you a pan view of the home screens that you can click into. So two other things that I really want to show you quite quickly um, is Smart Actions and Motocast. Um, Motocast, first of all, it's a wireless connection service back to up to five computers of your choice. And what it does, it allows you to pick up content that's stored on one of those computers from your mobile device without actually having it stored on your phone itself. Now, there are a lot of devices or services that offer that, uh, but this is fully integrated. No matter the file type, you should be able to convert it across or the, the device does it automatically um, and you can access that. Now, you need a reasonably good connection. I'm struggling here with the Wi-Fi, but what I can do is I'm in the file manager at the moment. I can click to Motocast, I see my PC at home, I then click into this and what it down, now does is synchronizes back and brings up the menus that or the folders that I've allowed the device to see. Now you can customize this as and how you please but I can go into pictures here and then what it does is it connects back to the computer, brings up the most recent content. Now the speed of download will of course change depending on the internet connection that you have on your phone and back with your home PC or work PC if you choose. Um, this works for 
documents, pictures, video, uh, so music and everything can stream as well. Uh, and then you can um, use it, show friends, uh, play a movie, or you can even download the content to the phone itself. Um, so typically here in this demonstration, it is taking quite a while. Uh, there we go. So here's some of the pictures that I've got on my device and I can click into folders and what have you and then I can pick up certain files so you get the idea there and I'll just show the music so this is uh, the music that's stored in my iTunes library back on my PC at home so that's now playing directly from my computer at home and actually one of the lovely features about this device is the speaker is fantastic. Let's just have a listen to this. So look, I'm scrolling through the music and it's relatively seamless. Not too much lag there at all. So come out of that and then Lastly, the other application I want to show you is Smart Actions. Now, there are other software packages available that do just the same thing as this, but this is all integrated into the device um, and it's free. So, Smart Actions performs a number of tasks or actions, as the name suggests, based on circumstances or triggers that you set. So, what I've got here is one set up for work. So what I've set is a trigger that at a particular time in the day, it will change my ringer volume. I could set up that a particular location, it changes uh, my background image. At a particular time of day, it silences my phone. Um, if I connect my headphones to this device, it will launch the music app. I could set that if I put my headphones in, it puts the volume to full, turns off Bluetooth, turns on Wi-Fi. Um, I could set another one that says a particular time and location, um, it switches on Wi-Fi. So there are apps that do that, but one of the nice features is this also has suggestions as well. So it learns your behavior. So if it realizes that you go to a particular location every day and you always miss a call, it might think that that's because the ringer volume isn't loud enough. So what it does is comes to you and says, do you want me to increase the volume? And you can choose the option. Now this is coming up with a battery warning. But you can then customize the option that it gives you. Um, or you can say yes, or you can say no. But the possibilities that you have are seemingly endless. Uh, and it can actually transform um, some of the mundane things that you do on your phone. Um, and it's really quite good and we'll have another video on that um, so check that out on our YouTube channel youtube.com forward slash clove technology so that's it that's Motorola Razor software tour thanks for watching